Hey guys, welcome back. So today I decided to show you guys how I like to apply my false eyelashes. I know applying false, false eyelashes can be kind of a struggle, especially if we are beginners. I remember when I was learning how to apply my false lashes, it was just an ugly mess. But now that I feel that I um, am better at it, I decided to show you guys my tips and all of that so you guys can maybe find it a bit easier. Um, of course, if you guys do like these type of videos, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, before you guys leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys would like to know how I apply my falsies, then of course, just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I apply my false lashes. So there's a lot of different lashes out there, you guys. There's different um, shapes and thickness and all of that. So I'm going to just show you a couple. So I have these right here. These are the... Vegas May um, Shining Star Lashes and I don't know if you guys can see right there in the box but they have a very like a more thicker lash band on there um, compared to these ones right here the Ardell Wispies as you guys can see the um, the bands are different um, these ones are more thicker and these are less um, thinner so the ones that have thicker lash bands are going to be a bit more difficult to apply. Um, they're just like more thick and they're just mm, harder to like um, apply. So you just have really need to have patience with those um, compared to these ones with like a more thin lash band. These are really easy to apply. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys these ones right here. Um, I do already have a pair right here, but I'm just going to show you how I like cut them and fit them to my um, eye shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these open. So what I like to do is take some tweezers and just take them out of the packaging. Alright guys, and so the way that they come in the packaging, that's how you want to apply them. So like the one on this side, you want to apply on this eye. And the one on this side, you want to apply on this eye. So just keep that in mind. So what I like to do is I take the lash and just measure it to my eye. I don't like it to hang down here, down over here. So I do like to cut it. And I don't like to have it like all the way into my inner corner either. So I do like to cut them a bit smaller than my eye shape. But nothing too like dramatic. Just very slightly. So what I like to do is you want to make sure you cut on the um, end. So the one, whatever's going to be on this um part over here that's what you want to cut you never want to go over here because then it'll just be like bothering your eye i've done that before trust me it is not comfortable at all so i like to take my little i don't know scissors these ones right here and i just like to cut like i don't know like the first two rows of my lash so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and as you guys can see it just looks the same in nothing too dramatic like I said before I'm just gonna go ahead and take my eyelash glue the one that I'm using is duo it's from duo that's just what it's called and it's like the brush one I don't like to use the other one the one that you squeeze out because I could never get it to like function I would always pour out too much so I like this brush one better and so you want to apply a generous amount of eyelash glue to your lash um, and then you're just going to want to let it sit for a couple of seconds just so that it can get tacky and it's much easier to apply because if you just go ahead and apply this on like that it's going to move everywhere um, I remember that's what I used to do and it was just not cute so you just want to go ahead and like air it out a little um, let it you know just get tacky so that it can just stick on very nice and neat and another um, tip, you can see when it like starts getting tacky because the color on the glue changes. It goes to like a light blue color. So it goes on white, but it like once it's like drying, it turns like a little bit blue. And that's when you know it's starting to get tacky. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it now. You can just go in right with your fingers and apply it. But I find it easier to be with um, tweezers. So I'm just going to take my tweezers and grab... You know the lash like this um, and you want to go like starting from the top you don't want to go in like this I feel like that's more difficult so you can also take like a mirror really close to you 
that's also very helpful and you want to like have it down here you guys can see my mirror you want to have it down here so that you are looking down you don't want to be looking up because that's just gonna ruin your oh, or that's just not gonna be helpful at all so if you're looking down you're gonna have more control of like where you're applying your lash and then coming from up here it's just gonna be super easy so you guys can just I'm just gonna show you guys how I take it on there so it's on there and I'm gonna start from the outer corner and just fix it and make sure it is stuck on there and you want to make sure you feel the cold glue and that's how you know you're getting it on there nice and neat and so once that outer part is on i'm going to focus over here onto my inner part of my eye and so when it's once it's on you can go ahead you know change the angle of the mirror that way you can see what is on and what isn't And so to like really get it secure on there, I like to take the end of my tweezers and just make sure everything is just on there and stuck very nice. So as you guys can see what difference this lash makes compared to this, I have no lash here and an eyelash here. Um, as you guys can see, you guys do kind of see the lash band. So what I like to do is just take some eyeliner. I prefer liquid eyeliner for this. And I just like to go over the lash band just so that it looks a bit more natural. So again, I'm going to take my mirror down here and just start applying it. And close your eye. Or try to like close one eye and keep one eye open. That's, that way you get like right on there. Alright you guys, so very quickly I'm going to go ahead and apply this other eyelash and then I'll be right back just to give you guys a bit more of some tips and tricks. Alright you guys, so that was how I like to apply my false eyelashes. I really hope you guys find this helpful. Um, I mean, there's not much to false lashes, just really just takes time and practice. Um, but you know, I just really hope you guys find this helpful. Don't get stressed, just practice, practice, practice and trust me, you guys will be... Um, getting better at it every time so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and until next time i will talk to you guys in my next video bye